Look, I get it. Most of you are stuck in tutorial hell. A lot of you can't seem to get yourself out of that. This is something I was in for the longest time that I can imagine. And it's one of those things that probably frustrated me and just straight up shitted on my career from getting better for the longest amount of time because all I kept doing was going tutorial after tutorial. And don't lie to me right now because I know you're probably doing that. There's a high chance of you, whether you're watching clever programmer tutorials and you're doing build after build or you're watching Udemy or something else out there, whatever it may be, you are not making a lot of forward progress. And what do I mean by forward progress? What I mean when I say forward progress is really are you working on projects that excite you and are you working on stuff where it's useful to you and going on your portfolio? Are you working on things and are you able to code from scratch and build real world things? Because if you can't do that, I mean, to be honest, you're kind of screwed, right? Like you're not going to be making forward, um, you're not going to be making forward progress. You're going to be kind of just like stuck forever you, you know like if i was to show you on the screen it's kind of like um let me see if i can open this up boom so if i was to show you here you'd be just like running in and this is what most of the people who are coding right like you're just kind of running in circles forever and it seems like there's never any getting out of there you're going after tutorial after tu tutorial and what you want to be able to do is you want to preferably be able to go f in a straight line where your career is moving forward like this. But right now what's happening is you go to one tutorial, make progress, then you go to another one, make some progress, then go to another one. And then maybe you even start picking up a new framework where in my opinion, you're making backwards progress sometimes because if you wanna get really, really good, you should just stick to one thing and keep getting better at it. Like for example, in the start, I personally don't think that you should be learning like basics of JavaScript and then moving on and trying to learn React and then trying to learn Next.js and trying to learn every, like all of these other things because then instead of making forward progress, really what you're doing is you're branching out, you make some forward progress with JavaScript, then you start all over again, make some forward progress with React, then you start all over again, make some forward progress with... Um, you know, what is it, Next.js or Tailwind CSS or whatever is your flavor of the month. And you're not really making any forward progress at all. In reality, what you should be doing is pick up JavaScript and just start coding. Day one, okay? Then this is day two, code day two. Then if I keep going, right, this is day three, and when I say you're coding, I literally mean you are coding. Like, yes, you can watch tutorials. Yes, you can try to pick up exercises, but like code shit that you could do with whatever you do know. For example, if you learn if else, make a freaking game out of if else. You can take if else statements so far. Make something interactive where if you have an if else block, I can type in something, a pop-up happens, and then I type in you know, guess you can make guess the number game with if else statements, right? If I guess 50, it goes too low. Then I guess for, uh, 30 and then it goes too high. And then I guess 40 and then it's like close. And then I'm like 42 and then it goes correct. You could do so much. So then do that. And you should be coding or thinking about coding or problem solving for many hours in a day. So many of you have this crazy freaking problem with being able to sit there and think and focus for a long period of time. If you cannot sit there, think, focus for a long period of time, I'm not going to say you're not going to become a coder ever, but like you're going to have so much more difficulty, right? Because for example, if you are sitting there and you have trouble focusing, you're making turtle-like progress every day, right? So like, for example, this is you. You make this much progress and that's all you got done in day one. And then day two, you make this much progress and that's all you got done in day two. Then you make this much progress. That's your day three, right? And then you have a freak like me who will code there like a motherfucker and just not stop. And I'll code for 10, 12, 14 hours. And especially when I was picking it up as a skill, I was, I was literally coding 12 to 14 hours a day. So then you have somebody who's not more talented than you, who's not smarter than you because I failed my math classes. I sucked at them. But I will sit there and code 
for that amount of time in and that's and that's my one day okay right and then and, and if if we keep going this is my second day i've made this much progress on day 2 this is my day 1 and day 2 whereas like for you and most people you're going to be here on day 6 right what i got done in in the, in one day because with coding unlike Let's say you're doing powerlifting, right? With powerlifting, okay, yeah, if you deadlift and squat and bench, if you did it for like th more than two or three hours, you'll start to have diminishing returns where you've broken down your muscles so much, you literally need to give it more time to recover and heal. With learning, you can learn for 14 hours a day and then go to sleep, let your brain process that, and then wake up the next day and do that again. With learning, there's nothing that kind of messes you up or is in the way with um with uh when it comes to power lifting you need time for recovery because you're literally breaking down your muscles but learning you can just keep going okay so that's a huge advantage and you can do this for example where else can you do it okay when you're driving your car can you listen to a podcast about coding boom there's your extra learning time okay if you drive for one hour you're like hey i have a long commute great one to two hours a day, one to two hours, you are able to now, um, you're now able to learn coding, okay? Or learn about coding, which is super, super important. If there's other things, you're like, hey, I am, I, I have to use the bathroom, so I just need to kill that time. If you're in the bathroom or you're showering, or, or if you're not showering, you're just freaking going um, and pooping, right? You can watch a YouTube video that's talking about code and maybe it's even interesting or maybe pick something that might excite you. But you need to be doing things that constantly move you forward, excite you, brainwash you to want to code. It makes you want to do things, right? Most people, first of all, they'll only code very limited amounts of time. And second of all, they will never do their own learning. Like, most people will just only do the learning that's prescribed to them through whatever their school tells them to do or whatever their YouTube tutorial tells them to do or whatever their Udemy tutorial tells you to do. If you keep doing that, here's what's going to happen. And let me just make sure the audio is, um, audio is good. Let's check the audio. Okay, it's looking good there. And let's check here. Beautiful. So what's going to happen when you do this is that you're, you're just going to be like stuck and you're just going to be confused and you're not going to make forward progress, okay? And also when you go to a job interview, if you weren't able to turn things into your own and you weren't able to code something creatively and you go to a job interview and I tell you, hey, turn it into this, you won't be able to do that. You won't be able to make it something custom and you won't even be able to solve the problem they gave you because all you taught yourself how to do is to follow a tutorial, so you got the skill of following tutorials, but you did not work on your skill of thinking and you did not work on your skill of problem solving. So you're not going to get the job. You're just going to be stuck. So this is why, right? This is so important. Like use all this time that you have at your disposal. If you're washing dishes, learn coding watch a video, listen to something, okay? What, what else is there? There's, there's dishes, uh, driving. There's tons of countless. If you're cleaning the house, you can be listening or watching something related to coding, okay? If you drive a truck all the time, that's perfect for listening to Audible. Listen to the story of how Linus Torvalds, you know, built Linux. Listen to Elon Musk's autobiography listen to books that either personally develop you or make you interested in coding or straight up podcasts that talk about coding i know wes boss has a podcast called syntax and there's a bunch of other ones out there i don't care what you pick i just care you pick something and you learn and you keep improving your skill because at the end of the day it's about the hours that you actually put into the skill and that's all that comes down to if you're not putting, if I have more hours, like assuming our intelligence levels are equal, 
So let's say that your intelligence level is here and my intelligence level is here, okay? Um, my bad, I meant to make equal lines. So these lines are fairly equal, okay? This is line one and this is two. They're fairly equal. Well, um, we're both gonna be pretty much at the same level, right? But now if you, if, if we're the same amount of talented, but now if you're putting in two times the time as me to learn coding, you have just two x yourself, okay? Now, if you're brainwashing yourself and watching documentaries, like instead of watching Netflix at night in your wind down time, maybe you're watching Mr. Robot. Maybe you're watching a show like Silicon Valley that is entertaining, funny, but still hypes you up and excites you about coding and programming. And you're kind of altering your reality to become that of a developer. Now, instead of two xing your results, now you have four extra results, okay? And this, this multiplier can keep increasing. If you're taking care of your body and you're sleeping healthy and you're eating healthy and your body's clean, and now when you code and learn coding, your memory is stronger because you're able to retain more information. You have less fogginess so you can absorb more information and actually apply more information. Now you've doubled maybe the result of the previous 4x multiplier and you've 8 x your results, okay? Every time you add a new element, you essentially double your results. So one is, for example, maximizing your time, right? The other is kind of immersion, which is like what I was calling like uh, brainwashing yourself. And then, um, I don't know, what, what was the third one? I forgot, somebody in the chat will let me know, but I'm not live, so... <laughs> That won't help. But whatever the third one was, right? That that is what gives you that multiplier where each new thing that you do, oh yeah, body. Okay. With each thing you do, essentially at, is a new multiplier and gets you freaking jacked in your career. And when we say 8x, well, 8x is massive because what 8x really means, if we get out of this, is you're gonna achieve in one lifetime the results I will achieve in eight lifetimes. You've eight x your results. You've eight x your career results. You've also eight x shortened your results that you would get. So for example, let's say in your coding career, the success you would achieve in 30 years, well, now you've eight x it. So just divide 30 by eight. So what's 30 by eight? 30, where's my 30 divided by eight? That's 3.75. 3.75 years. So now you're getting 30 years of results in 3.75 years, which is kind of ridiculous when you put it like that. But you're essentially getting incredible results. So then people ask you, hey, how did you get that six-figure income so fast? Hey, how are you able to build these real-world applications and you were able to figure that out so fast? That's how. You have maximized your time you've maximized your body and you've maximized how much you believe in it, the immersion. If you start to now make friends, this also goes towards immersion. If you now go from friends who talk about Gears of War or Call of Duty or League of Legends or complain or negativity, now if you replace that with friends who are cool friends and also talk about coding, that's another multiplier. That's part of the immersion multiplier. Now what you've done is you have friends that add value to your life. And you have, they fasten, you speed up your growth. Because as you're speaking with them, yes, you're having fun, you're having a conversation, but you're learning at the same freaking time. So they're real-time tutorials that are teaching you, okay? But they're more practical even than tutorials, Okay, because tutorials are great, but they will not make you a better developer a lot of the times because you're just st you're stuck there watching somebody else. You will make progress when you do it. So even when you watch tutorials, I highly recommend you keep pausing them. You keep building your own thing. You keep switching it and changing it until that app is now yours, completely yours, completely unique. Or maybe you add a, like if, you, if somebody's building a blogging app, you copy that and turn it into a video app, okay? That's how you win. That's how you will win, all right? So 
these are some of the things I wanted to share with you. Maximize your time with coding. Don't go, wow, I have one hour a day, two hours a day. That's not going to make you good. You have to invest a lot of time. If you have a family, if you have kids, which I know a lot of you do, a lot of the students that are in our coding boot camp, I know you. Hi. If you're watching this, Urchina, hi. If any of you are watching this, hello, Brandon. I understand you have families, you have kids, you have maybe even a job that takes up so much of your time. Whatever time is left over, spend it into coding. And during your time, you can still be listening and learning about coding. You can be literally watching my YouTube videos and talk, hearing me talk about coding. And even if you're not seeing the screen, even that might help just because you're getting familiar with the thought patterns, what I'm saying, the lingo. It makes it less intimidating. It has a huge impact. So keep an eye out for that, okay? So th that's all I have for you today, okay? If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the goddamn channel because this is the channel where you learn everything React, React, G React Native, and also full stack development. And last thing I want to let you know is that for the cohort of June, we're going to be shutting down enrollment for our full stack mastery boot camp in just a few days, okay? So for the June cohort, it starts June 1st. So in the next five to six days, we're going to be shutting down enrollment for that. So if this is something, if you want to learn with me and my team and you want to be in our immersive coding bootcamp that we just recently launched, it's an incredible bootcamp. And I mean, we just dive deep in this bootcamp. So just a couple of things that, that you should know. It's uh, six to eight months long right now where we are making it even eight months because other boot camps, they just don't do you justice. Like in two to three months, you're not going to become a great developer. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth of it, okay? The only people that become successful out of those boot camps are people who already know coding. So this boot camp is mainly for people who are looking to switch careers or complete beginners and like looking to learn all of the skills. If you're more advanced, you will still get your ass kicked and learn a ton of things, okay? So you're going to learn data structures and algorithms. We're going to teach you all the front end, back end, you're going to learn everything, okay? So if this is something exciting to you and you want to speak with me or my team members about, uh, schedule a call with us, okay? In the link below, I'll have the, you know, there's a form. Fill that out in as much detail as possible. Currently, we're mostly working with U.S. students, okay? So if you're U.S., uh, go ahead and apply and fill out the details because we are very selective about the students that we take, so we can only take a couple of students at a time, so please fill it out in as much detail as possible. So then that gives you a chance for, for me to pick up and get on a call with you or one of my team members to get on a call with you. And then we'll just let you know. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? We're going to be honest with you. If it's a good fit for you, we're going to let you know. If it's not a good fit for you, we'll tell you, hey, self-teaching is better for you, so save your money. Um, hey, this other boot camp might be better for you. We will just be honest with you, okay? My number one goal is that you actually get a job. You actually increase your skills. My number one goal is not to take your money. I don't care. I want to see you succeed. I love your beautiful face. This is Kazi. As always, I'll see you in the next video.